Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm excited to show you a trick that I discovered accidentally when working with field parameters. Now, like most columns and anything else containing categorical labels, such as product hierarchies, uh, in the case of field parameters, it's the measure names or the measure columns, they're going to have a particular sort order that goes with it. So both field parameters and actually calculation groups have an ordinal or sort column that is assigned to them that will sort the values that you have as your selections in the slicer in terms of that sequence, whether or not it's in your filters pane on a slicer on your rows or columns in a matrix table. But I did discover a way to actually reorder that without having to have a separate field parameter table or do any model hacking. It's actually something that we can leverage using visual level filters on a particular table to actually adjust the order of these. So I want to show you this technique and we can hop in a Power BI to get started. So the visual in front of us has on the rows product category and a combination of sales, prior year, and a bunch of other metrics all contained within a field parameter that I've placed into the values well. So in some ways it operates similar to a calculation group, but essentially is displaying all of these calculations. Now the order that you see from sales to prior year to year over year, those are all based off of the order that we see in here which is the zero, one, two, three, which kind of like a calculation group, or very similarly, better said to a calculation group, works off of this order. Now in calculation groups, they call them ordinals for the column itself, but essentially this just gives you the order whenever you use this in any type of a visual filter or slicer. Now I found a way to actually override this because right now, if I was to come up to this, I have a sort by, and I can sort any of these, but I can't really reorder the columns. There's no way for me to reorder them in the value section and I cannot drag and drop these. There is no way currently for me to adjust this outside of maybe having to make an additional field parameter. But as I said, I discovered a way around this. So notice that I'm using, if I select this, the same metric selection field parameter, but there's a different order in here. So the trick is actually using a visual level filter that we have for this table. So I'm gonna come back to the default order one here, and let's go ahead and apply this and see how that can be done. So I'm gonna open my filters pane, and right now, filters in this visual, all of the actual measures inside of the field parameter are contained within here. Now, the goal about this video is to show you how to reorder these. If you are curious about field parameters, you can come up to the modeling view and add them from this list down here. But the goal of this is not the creation of a field parameter, it's the reordering of it. So what I'm gonna do is on this table visual, I'm gonna take metric selection and add this a second time to the visual level filters well. And now I'm given the names of all of these values or calculations that are inside of here. And whatever order I start clicking these with will actually order them in the visual. So let's assume that I actually want to see average sales first. And now this is essentially treating the query as if I am adding these one at a time to the values well. That's how the query is getting built for this visual. So it is maintaining that sort order as well for me. And if I wanted units next, then I could do sales, prior year, year over year, and year over year percentage. And now I have a new sort order based off of that because it constructed this query from that. And that will actually still remain consistent even if I was to come maybe add a slicer on the page for calendar year. And if I was to start making filter selections, it will maintain that sort order. So it's a really nice way to actually be able to provide custom sort orders without having to add a separate field parameter to the actual model itself. And again, all you have to do is be able to go through and you start from nothing, basically have everything unselected, and then you start from whatever one you wanna see first. So again, if I wanted a separate order, I can just go through and as I add these in, it will automatically put them either in the columns. It would also do a similar thing if I was showing on rows for this, but any way I wanna construct the visual will maintain that new sort order as I am ordering these by adding them one at a time after taking this and adding it again as a visual level filter. Now, the last thing I'll mention is you'll probably want to hide and lock that. That way you'll make sure that there is no visual level filter showing up in the filters on this visual, but it will work as expected when you deploy this to any production app or workspace. In summary, I love discovering things like this. It's nice when I learn about a new feature that in some ways is a bit of a hidden gem. So hopefully you can use this to reorder your field parameters if needed for any of your reporting needs. And as always, don't forget to drop any comments down below on this video or any ideas for a future video. Check out some of my related content. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help this channel grow. And I will see you all in my next video.